Welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring the Audi's popular 3.0 TFSI V6 engines from the EA 837 family, first introduced in 2008. These supercharged engines replaced Audi's naturally aspirated 3.2 FSI, quickly becoming famous for delivering robust performance and smooth operation across various Audi models, from the sporty S4 and S5 to luxury cruisers like the A6, A7 and Q7. But how reliable are they really? Let's dive into the specifics. Audi's 3.0 TFSI is built upon a sturdy aluminum V6 block, closely related to its predecessor, the 3.2 FSI. However, significant internal upgrades were introduced to handle the stresses of forced induction, including stronger pistons with a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio, reinforced connecting rods, 153 mm length, and an optimized crankshaft delivering an 89 mm stroke. Cylinder heads retained a 24 valve dual overhead cam layout with variable intake cam timing spanning 42 degrees, though without Audi's variable valve lift system. Power was boosted substantially by integrating an Eaton Roots type supercharger capable of generating up to 0.8 bars of boost in later performance oriented models like the SQ5. Numerous 3.0 TFSI variants have appeared across the Audi lineup. Standard versions CAJ or CCAA, 290 horsepower found initially in the Audi A6 and A8. Performance models CAKA or CCBA, 333 horsepower powering the sporty S4 and S5 with slightly increased boost pressure. Economy variant CMUA, 272 horsepower fitted to models like Audi A4 and A5 with lower boost. High performance CTUD and CTXA, 354 horsepower, featured in the SQ5, offering peak torque of 470 newton meters and higher boost pressure. Hybrid version CGEA includes an additional 34 kilowatt electric motor, notably in the Volkswagen Touareg Hybrid. From 2013 onward, Audi released the Gen 2 3.0 TFSI, improving reliability and efficiency. Changes included dual injection, direct plus port, iron cylinder sleeves, upgraded timing chains, and variable valve timing expanded to both intake, 50 degrees range, and exhaust, 42 degrees range. This generation also introduced technology allowing the supercharger to disengage completely when boost wasn't needed, improving fuel efficiency and reliability. commonly caused by cylinder wall scoring or issues with piston rings and oil separators. Preventative measures include regular oil checks and always warming the engine fully before aggressive driving. Timing chain rattles at startup, two main causes here. Firstly, the lack of check valves in oil channels, notably CGW engines after 2012, which delays lubrication reaching timing chain tensioners during startup. Adding check valves can resolve this. Secondly, worn chain tensioners can also lead to persistent rattling, often requiring replacement after around 100,000 kilometers. Exhaust noise and leaks, typically caused by damaged exhaust flex pipes. Regular inspections and timely replacements can keep your exhaust system quiet. Catalytic converter failure, low quality fuel or aggressive chip tuning accelerates wear. Damaged catalytic converters can send harmful ceramic dust into cylinders, causing severe scoring. Preventive action includes using high quality fuel and considering catalytic converter removal if tuning for higher performance. Additional issues, early failures of low pressure fuel pumps, water pumps and carbon deposits on intake valves are relatively common. Regular checks and preventive cleaning help maintain reliability. Audi's 3.0 TFSI engines are powerful, refined and generally reliable, especially if cared for correctly. They blend exceptional performance with daily usability, making them popular among Audi drivers worldwide. Although some issues like oil consumption, timing chain noise and catalytic converter problems do occur, attentive maintenance practices and the improvements found in the Gen 2 series greatly enhance engine longevity. If you maintain it diligently and drive responsibly, the 3.0 TFSI can deliver years of enjoyable, trouble-free performance.